What up, good people? It's your boy Rome coming to you again from the car on that four wheel comedy. Uh, today, though, I encountered at least three people with some horrendous breath, okay? Made me go out and buy a pack of gum, goddammit. And they was already gone. This gum was just for me to chew so I could get the memory out of my, out of my nostrils. Uh, I'm on a war against bad breath. I think it's our duty to let people know you don't got to be nasty with it, but just offer them a piece of gum. They talking to you, hey, how you doing? Yup, mm -hmm, here you go, got some gum for you because that breath invading your space hey how you doing all in your face with it you can't even think about the business you're supposed to be thinking about because you're smelling that goddamn breath it's nothing more offensive than bad breath okay that's just a basic thing we should do chew gum just take care of your teeth your gums your insides some people breath smell so goddamn bad smell like they sick y'all know what i'm talking about so uh bad breath okay help me on the crusade let's all buy gum and let's stay strapped with it and let's hit the people that need it. Yeah, hit the people, give it to the people that need it. Give it to them right then. Because we're doing this for them and their family and their loved ones. Like, who the hell dates them? Like, who kisses a person in the mouth with bad breath? That would have been a deal breaker. I don't care how fine a woman was, I see her. Whew, walk up on that breath stinking. Man, look, it's over before it begins. That's not the kind of thing that anybody should tolerate or deal with. And if you love somebody, you for damn sure better be the one telling them. And like I say, furthermore, how did it even get to the point of loving them? How did you get past the breath? You're nasty too. If you date a person with bad breath, you just as nasty as they are. One love.